All right. Uh, if you have all your slices, just like um, as I have right now, all you have to do is to make sure you deselect everything for the first time. What we're going to do is to actually create an action that can actually clear all the filters for us when we place filters, multiple filters. So if I should actually click on May or on June right now, and I come into this particular store, I just click on online. So I can actually add this one that actually add multiple slicer for me. You can add here if you want. So if I have to start, you know, clearing these particular filters, I just have, you know, here now, I just have to do them one after the order, you understand? And that is actually, you know, a lot of work. So, and um, in order to actually manage the space you have here for your slicers, so you need to actually have those headers hidden. You get it? So what can we do? Have them cleared. So you go right to developer, then you click on record macro here. So we are not writing any macro, we're just recording. So I'll just say, Clear. That is it. So clear means clear the filter. So you have to remember this name. You name your macro is very important. What you do is just for you to click on OK. And if I go back to the top right now, it says it says it says stop recording, which means it's recording right now. So make sure you don't do any other thing aside selecting this and selecting all of these. Just select all of these. So after you're done selecting them just start deselecting them at the same time now as you can see we have placed you know may outlet our uh, street footwear and 2021 our uh, slicer so i'm gonna clear this filter here so clear this filter clear this filter clear this filter and uh, the action is recorded so we can come back here and click on stop then if you want to view the macro you can just click on view here and that gives you the macro we've just recorded. So those are the macro we've just recorded here. Can you see that? We have it here. So Claire is the name. So we have for the month, we have for the um, store type. So you can you see them now? So exactly. So. We don't need to actually touch this. We are not going to touch this because we didn't we, we didn't write them. We just recorded them. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it. I just want to show you that this is what it is. So now we are done from here. We've stopped it. It's no more recording. The next thing we're going to do right now is to see how we can actually add that particular button we've created. So go to your insert and uh, click on illustration. Then go to icons. And pick any icon that you want to use to actually get this, you know, showcase. I'm going to go down a little bit. I should find an icon that will best, you know. Uh, okay, yeah, this is the icon here. Oh, my goodness. So now click on OK. So here we have this icon. So guess what? I'm going to right click on the icon. You can see where it says assign macro. Once you click on it, we have different macros. Uh, there are, I have a workbook open, so I have some macro in them. So it's, they're going to show up right here. So this is the one we are going to use. That was why I said you should remember the name. So once I just do that, I click on OK. So that is all. So now I just apply this filter. I'm not going to clear the filter from here. Let me apply one more filter for you to see what I'm talking about. So just click. By the time you come here, you can see we have a finger pointing at that particular icon. So this is exactly what you need to do. It's going to take a little while to just get it clear for you. And that is going to be. Clear. So as you can see, everything has been cleared. When you play the filter, even a single filter, you can just come here and just click on this button. and. So you now have your filter controlled by this button. So let us go to the previous one and see what we have there. So here we have it. Can you see it now? So we have this one. So it's being controlled by this one. 